think Keith Kalf has kind of made things famous when he said, what's in the bag? And I said, diagnostic tools. He said, diagnostic tools? Yeah, diagnostic tools. All kinds of stuff in here to help me figure out what's going on. So, anyway, this tree is an oak and it's not doing very well. As you can see, there's really not of a, a lot of vigor in the tree. Leaves are kind of small up there. It's very sparse. It's not showing a lot of signs that it's had a lot of growth. And part of the problem is more than likely construction. So this driveway doesn't appear to be that old. But I'm sure when it was installed, roots were impacted. Root zone was taken away. Now this tree was obviously here long before either house was here. So the root flare, flare is bared a little bit. I already dug some of it out. A lot of moisture up against the trunk. But it's got a little bit of a flare that is starting to show, so we're going to use the air spade and see if we can't expose some more. I'm going to go ahead and make a grid pattern out in the yard. And we're going to do some vertical mulching, critical root zone therapy. You know, the roots go at least to the drip line, which is all the way out here. And they can go another 50% beyond that. So one and a half times the, uh, the drip line is where they can go. And what do you have beyond that point? No root space. Covered. Covered in asphalt. So, if that's the drip line, another half is out here in someone else's yard. Now imagine if these people decided they want to pave all this over. What do you think they're going to do to the roots? So the tree's root zone definitely been impacted. We're going to try to fix it. But it's a good example of construction damage.